Hello everybody. Welcome to another installment on my Prairie Garden Series. And today I would like to show you what's in bloom right now. And it is the Sullivan's Milkweed. Asclepius Sullivanti. I've grown the common milkweed here, but the common milkweed likes to travel from year to year. In other words, the common milkweed doesn't grow from the same spot year after year. It travels around and that's why I found it to be a uh, not so good species to grow in my garden. But I came up with a uh, alternative. It looks almost identical. I got these seeds from Todd County, Minnesota. And this is my focus today. Uh, these plants, in my opinion, have almost a tropical looking quality to them. This is some kind of plant that I would expect to find in the tropics. I mean, look at it. It's a very exotic looking It smells wonderful. The colors are not striking, but they're subtle and they attract insect life. Oh, look what I just found right here. Can you see this? I just noticed this as, it, as I was filming. It is a monarch caterpillar, monarch butterfly caterpillar and they feed exclusively on milkweed. So this was the focus of this video I wanted to show you. My camera's not in focus right now, hold on. There we go. Uh, I find it to be a very beautiful plant. I find it to be a very fragrant plant it is very fragrant. I would recommend growing this plant to anybody. Uh, like I say, monarch butterflies will visit the flowers and they will lay their eggs on this plant and produce more monarchs. And I like monarchs, so that's what I'm going to do. And I have a point to make. And that point is, if I were to ask 100 people randomly on the street around my uh, neighborhood what they thought about this plant, I have a feeling that unless I explain it to them, I have a feeling they would say, oh, it's, it's just a weed, you know, something to get rid of. This is a weed and you need to get rid of it. And I completely disagree. To me, this is a native wildflower. And the point I wanna make is that people are taught things and then they carry them through in their lives. Young kids are taught a lot of things that aren't true. And one of, the, one of those things is that this milkweed, which I hate the name with the weed at the end, but this milkweed is not actually a weed. It's a valid plant. It's a native wildflower in my opinion. I would like to change people's perceptions about that. And it kind of gets back to uh, the religion thing again. Because as a kid, if you're taught something, then suddenly that's it. That's the way it is. If you're taught that Christian religion is the religion that you need to belong to, that's it. Then you stop questioning. Just like if you're taught that this is a weed to get rid of, 
then that's what you'll do as an adult. I hope that people, especially young people, will open their eyes and see that this is not a weed and what their parents told them about religion isn't necessarily true and they need to figure things out for themselves. That's the most important thing. Figure things out for yourself. Don't just listen to anybody and say, okay, yeah, that's, that's the way it is. Don't listen to me. I could be wrong. I could be lying to you right now. Don't listen to me. I'm actually not lying to you, but I could be if I was, well, you know. Anyway, Sullivan's milkweed or the prairie milkweed. Oh, look at here. Uh, too bad, it just went away. But this plant smells good and it has swarms of interesting insects that like to visit it. This is my prairie wildflower video for today. Thanks for watching.